Body Experts, along with Kevin the Machine, Coach Weiss, and so many names, I don't know what to call you anymore. I'm going to try to explain to you in this Coach Em Up session um, about the importance of neurological pathways and exactly what the neurological pathways are. So I'll try to speak in terms of analogy. It's not the, the best example, but it's a good one. So um, establishing neurological pathways is a lot like uh, creating a highway system of trying to go from one city to another. Um, it's a lot like, um, I wrote this down, so that's why I'm looking down. Um, you know, traffic or vehicles on a highway are a lot like the biochemical processes, the histochemical processes, the endocrinological processes. You can consider that traffic to and from a muscle if you want. So the importance of establishing neurological pathways is that you need to have one firm established highway before you can start worrying about off-ramps and collector lanes, um, if you understand what I mean. These are the neurological pathways. Instead, and this is especially for new and intermediate trainees, they're working in the opposite direction. They're trying all this uh, variation and all this volume. In essence, they're training roads and collector lanes and off-ramps before they've even established the highway. I mean, so I mean, we're not using the bench press, the squat, and the bent row. We're not using these as power lifters use them to see how much we can lift. We're using them not even concerned with the development of a specific muscle, but to establish those neurological pathways. So you have to think, again, neurological pathway is a lot like a highway and the traffic that's on it. Uh, again, disinhibition of, of um, certain uh, bodily functions like uh, um, turning off the excitation threshold of the Golgi tendon organ. These are all functions of established neurological pathways that have nothing to do so much with lifting a weight as it does a sequence of movements done correctly. And uh, this is why I use things like 10 sets of 10, 5 sets of 5. Uh, you have various implementations as well. But does that analogy make sense? Yeah, it's a, what I always say to people, it's when they first are starting to work out, and that doesn't mean the first few days you start working out, that, that means a significant amount of time. Your body's learning how to work, how the muscles actually fire and how to make them fire. You're not someone that starts working out and their bench press goes, just to use the bench press as an example, goes from 100 pounds to 150 pounds. Well, they didn't necessarily gain a whole bunch of muscle to get there. No, their body's just firing muscle they already had that it a, hasn't been doing. That's a neural adaptation. Yeah, that's not, a, that's not a, a, any hypertrophy at all necessarily, but yeah, the, the muscles are actually firing more efficiently than when they first started. And that's where the confusion lies. So you'd be better off with a lot less variation when you're first starting out the first couple of years than you would be by jumping on all these websites and reading all these magazines and doing the workout du jour or, you know, waiting for your monthly uh, subscription to come in. in every month. So 10 sets of 10, 8 sets of 8 uh, of, of the monster movements. This is establishing that neurological pathway wait, and then down the road you can worry about um, you know, uh, forging a, a real physique. Yeah, most people are a whole lot less advanced than they like to think they are. This has been a Coach Em Up.